This is the Smart Live Stream Cam from AI Coco. And this is the ultimate webcam for content creation because it has built in tracking, it can move left to right 180 degrees, and the camera can also move up or down. So basically, whenever you move, the camera will move. Setting up this camera is very easy. It is plug and play, there is no software to download. There is a USB-C port on the side of the camera. So all you gotta do is connect it to your PC. And even on Android, I'm gonna show you how this works on Android later on in the video. And of course, this comes down so you can put it on your laptop or your monitor. I really like that you can hook it up to a tripod just like this. And well, this is thing because I haven't hooked up yet. Um, yeah, I really like that you can hook it up to a tripod so you have complete control of what angle you wanna put the camera. Okay, so right now the camera is connected to my PC. I have it with OBS, it is running right now. And right now you are listening to the audio from the built-in microphone. So the microphone is on the front and I think it does a decent job, but that's not the main feature. The main feature is obviously the tracking, which as you can see right now, I can move a little bit to the right, it can move to the left, and the camera will move when I move. And the camera's pretty fast too, so even if I go like this real fast, if I go down, it does a pretty good job of tracking it. So this is great for multiple reasons. Um, not just for doing a basic video call where you're sitting down in a chair. In fact, let me go ahead and sit down. And you can see the camera will follow me as I sit down. Here we go. And you can see I got OBS running right now. So right now I'm using the Elgato Wave 3 USB microphone. I switched it because the microphone on the webcam was pretty good, but I wasn't too happy with the quality. It has a little bit of an echo and that could be because of my setup. But overall, I think the quality is fine, especially if you're just doing a video call. But if you want a more professional live stream or a video, then I highly recommend getting a USB microphone and using that. I can imagine that this is good for doing like fitness, coaching, maybe playing music, or if you're speaking on stage, like I said, when you move, the camera moves and it is pretty stable. So it might be more better to use this camera than just telling someone else to hold the camera and you might get a shaky video. The other day I was using it to make content. I recorded a VR gameplay video and I was using this camera to track me as I was moving back and forth. I was playing this sword game where I was in a battle arena and I was moving back and forth, dodging my enemies attacks. And the camera did a really good job of keeping me in the shot. Normally I record these separate videos with my smartphone and sometimes I move, I get out of the shot and then I gotta edit that part out. But that wasn't the case in this video. And I'm also really impressed that even though my eyes were covered, it still managed to track my head. It knew where my head was. And there were times where I turned my back and the camera was still following me. So that's pretty impressive. And I know it sounds pretty crazy to say that I'm impressed with how good the camera was tracking me. But in this case, it's a really good thing. Okay, so now let's talk about video quality. I think this is a step up between a normal webcam like I have right here. This is a normal Logitech 1080p webcam, but it can record up to 2K. I might do a separate video with this webcam where I record in full 2K so that you guys can see the full quality of this camera. I think that'll be pretty cool. But yeah, I really like the camera quality. I don't like that you see this little logo on the side. Uh, there is no way to take that out, but of course, if you're streaming, you can just put something on top of it. If you're editing, again, you can crop it out or put something on top of it. So it's not that big of a deal, but I kind of wish you had the option to take it out. But yeah, in terms of video quality, it's a step up between a laptop's webcam. It's obviously not as good as a mirrorless camera, but when you look at the price of a mirrorless camera versus the price of this webcam, you can see this one is way cheaper than a mirrorless camera. And of course, it works with NVIDIA broadcast. So if you want a blurred background, you can have that blurred background effect. And then when you add that effect, it looks almost as good as a mirrorless camera. Again, the keyword is almost, so don't drag me in the comments being like, a mirrorless camera is better. It is, but it's way more expensive compared to this. Also, I wanna show you guys something cool. This camera works on PC, Mac, and on Android. So right now, this camera is connected to my phone. I'm recording it from my phone, and I'm gonna send the video to my PC. I am recording my audio with my PC, so I'm gonna mix that up. Again, I'm still using the Elgato Wave 3 USB microphone. But again, if you really want to get creative, you can use this webcam with an Android phone or a tablet. I don't know if it works on iOS. And I'm using an app called USB Camera. So all I have to do is just plug it in, open the app, and I can start recording right on this app. So that is pretty cool. You can use this webcam, connect it to your phone, and then record from there. And then edit your performance or presentation, whatever. Uh, edit it and upload it. So all I did was talk about USB cable, hooked up with USB, and this is a normal USB-C dock connected to my Android phone and that's how I got it to work. So again, that really shows you how simple it is. There is no software to download. Everything is plug and play, even on a smartphone. You can also control this webcam with hand gestures. The first one is making a stop gesture that will stop the camera from tracking your face or tracking your head, or whatever you wanna call it. 
So when you do that, the camera will not move when you move. You can also zoom in by making an L gesture. I don't know why it has to be an L, but you make an L and then it will zoom in three times. And then to zoom out, you do an L again and it will zoom out. And the last hand gesture is to turn back on the head tracking. When the light is steady green, that means it's tracking your head. When it's blinking green, that means that you are out of the frame. And when the light is red, that means that it is not tracking you. It would have been nice if it came with a privacy cover that you can put over the lens, but that's fine. You can always just unplug it when you're done using it. So that about does it for my review on the Smart Livestream Stream Cam from AI Coco. If you guys are interested in this product, I will have a link in the video description below. And of course, if you have any questions, you can leave in the comments below. Or you can reach out to me on Instagram or on TikTok at Ernesto.tech.